In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to configure recording in Hike Central, and most importantly, how to leverage the CVR or recording server if you're using one. Let's start off by logging into Hike Central, and once we're logged in, we're going to go to the logical view. In the logical view, you see a listing of all your logical devices. Let's start off by choosing a camera whose recording we want to configure. I could scroll through this entire list or I can choose from the different areas if I know what area the camera is in. I'm going to choose my specialty cameras and I'm going to choose the visible side of one of my bispectrum cameras. So the first thing that we're going to see is this camera's name, the stream that's being used, and the protocol type. There's also a video inset window here if you're using Internet Explorer that you can go ahead and click on to verify that you're looking at the correct camera. Under the recording settings area, we have the main storage selection. So you can turn main storage on or main storage off. In this case, you see main storage was already on. And I can actually ask the system to go get the current recording settings. Say if this camera is being recorded by an NVR, then I would want to pull those settings back into Hike Central so I know what they are. But in this case, we're going to go ahead and configure it ourselves and potentially overwrite the settings. Starting off with the storage location, we can choose from the encoding device. That could be the camera itself or an NVR or DVR, a hybrid SAN or our central video recorder, and a cloud storage server. Well, let's start off the easy way. Let's start off with the encoding device and then we can choose our recording schedule template. Now, there are two default templates built into Hike Central. You could create your own template simply by clicking on Add New and then configuring your own recording template. We're not going to do that for now. We'll go ahead and choose the all day time based template for our purposes in this video. We can choose the stream type. The pre record option, of course, would be better utilized if we were doing event based recording and post record option. Notice that the pre record time is set, the post record time is selectable up to 10 minutes. For our video file storage option, we have the overwrite option and we have the expired time option. I think we're all familiar with these two options, so I'm not going to go into them in detail at this point. We also have enable automatic network replenishment. So in this case, if the camera had an SD card in it and the network were to fail, the camera continues to record to the SD card, the network is recovered, then those recordings would automatically be replenished back to the main storage location, wherever that happens to be. Now, once we have the main storage set up, one of the great features of Hike Central is to have an auxiliary storage location. So we can go ahead and turn on auxiliary storage. And in this case, we have a couple of options. We could record to our hybrid SAN or to a cloud storage server. We'll go ahead and choose the hybrid SAN. And then you need to choose which hybrid SAN if you have more than one. In this case, we'll use the one that we added in our earlier tutorial on adding a CVR. And it's called Training CVR Demo. We have some basic information about the device here. But more importantly, we can go ahead and set our next recording schedule template. In this case, we'll go ahead and choose the all day event based template. And I can click on that to view it and see exactly what it is 24 seven event based recording. I can choose the stream type. I can choose post recording time. You cannot choose a pre recording time here. Otherwise you'd be streaming to this server constantly. I can add a streaming server if I need to direct video streams because of various wide area network issues. I can still enable automatic network recovery. Now let's keep in mind something here. We did an event based template here, so we need to have an event that's going to trigger that recording. So here is our event settings. There is no available event information here. We would actually need to configure an event choose the type of event that we want to use. Let's make it pretty simple. Motion detection we'll start with and we'll go ahead and click on add. That created an event, but right now, other than potentially triggering a recording, that event doesn't do anything. And by the way, if motion detection is not set up in the camera device, it's still not going to do anything. So one of the options that we have right now is to go right here to configuration on device and we can go into the device's webpage and we can set up our motion detection 
parameters, etc., or any other event, whether it's a line crossing or whatever it happens to be. So it's very important that you do this, otherwise these events aren't going to do anything, and then ultimately you want to tie these events potentially to an alarm or some other action. Once I have those settings done, uh, continuing down the page, I do have the option to add this camera to a map. So I can click on Add Map, and then over on the right-hand side, you see I got my GIS map. I can find the correct location, I can drop in different icons, I can change the icon color, etc. But we're going to save mapping for a separate tutorial. Let me go ahead and turn the Add to Map off, and we'll go ahead and save our work. And there you go. We now have a recording schedule configured for our device. Before I let you go, there's one very, very important thing I want to remind you of. When you have devices in many different locations and servers that could be potentially in different time zones, it's very important that you time synchronize all those devices or select an NTP server for them all to listen to. If your Hike Central server and your CVR and your NVRs are all on different time settings and not synchronized, recording is not going to take place the way you anticipate. So keep all your devices synchronized to the same NTP server.